What it do, world? It's your boy, Superstar Fresh, representing SuperstarBlog.com here again with another quick look slash sneaker unboxing. And I got a pair of Space Jams. Let me slap it up, slap it up, slap it up, slap it up. Yo, I won the raffle, which is fucking crazy. I never thought I'd be happy to win a raffle in which I actually win nothing and I have to spend money. But your boy won a raffle, which is fucking crazy. I went to seven stores, got one call back. And I got called back from a store I went to on the last day of the raffle because it was two days of raffles. And the wild part is this is the store I normally purchase all of my kicks from. I don't know if the feng shui or the fucking sneaker gods was aligning. It was like, bro, these are yours. But these are mine, which is crazy. And as you can see, that beautiful Looney Tune 2-3. And I'm not sure if you can really see it, but you see the 2-3 going through the 4-5, which is fire. I just noticed that. Man, this is crazy, man. I got a pair of Space Jams, and I got these on Saturday, but, you know, I was busy as hell, so I couldn't do the video, and I probably would have got more views if I'd have did it a lot earlier on the day of the release, but, hey, man, I got a pair. I'm going to throw these up for you guys, and, you know, we're going to go ahead and get into this sneaker, man. I thought this box was dope. For 220 you had to do something dope, and I feel like Jordan Brand delivered, man. You got the type, the nice cartoons, and since I went to uh, media arts and animation was my major in college, you know, I, I care about the cartoons, which is crazy, man. And I think these Monstar hands or whatever these are, Bugs Bunny is, these are just wild, man. I think this is a dope, dope thing. It's like they're, they're, they're fighting over the 45, which is wild. And let me go ahead and show you the rest of this packaging, man, because the packaging is dope. Um, as you can see, it's got the Looney Tunes blessing on the bottom with the WB. And it's got some more Jumpman Nike stuff. Air Soul stuff being broken down and all that, man, which is dope. And I like little stuff like that, man. Pay attention to the packaging. It's uh, not a, a thing that people really pay attention to that often. And as you can see in black, it's got the Jordan. I don't even know what that is, which is crazy. I know it says Jordan, but I'm not sure what the other stuff says. That's that's because I'm out of the loop somewhat with Jordans. But, yeah, it's nice packaging going on here. So, let's go ahead and get into these sneakers. I don't want to wrap y'all up too hard. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, it's got that beautiful 4-5 on the box, which is dope. And it's also got, let's look at this tag, size 14, Jordan 11 retro, black concord and white oh yeah keep it basic baby and the damage was 220 bony ronies which is crazy but since i was planning for the sneaker and i really feel it's worked it i ain't mad at it i ain't mad at the 220 having to drop the 220 you feel me and it's got this little ring right here which is kind of purple but we'll get to that once we show the actual shoe and i thought the inside of the box was dope too so i'm gonna show you guys the inside of the box i actually thought jordan brand did that thing and this is actually the top associated with the box is a pull-off top and as you can see it's like a galaxy uh, uh space you know thing which i like i really fuck with the galaxy thing uh, i can't get enough of it some people think it's played out but whatever In my opinion i fucks with it fucks with it the long way and this is the inside or the bottom of the box and as you can see it's got that jump man logo and the galaxy purple the plum crazy plum purple which is crazy and it's got the galaxy in the inside of the box which is dope and it has some 45 wrapping paper because they really expressing the fact that they went to town and slapped the 4-5 on the sneaker. So enough of my rapping. Let's go ahead and get into this motherfucking shoe. You dig? Let me adjust this camera a little bit, man. I can't be fading and swayzy and fucking up like that. Bam! You see that thing, man? Oh, my goodness. That's a beautiful shoe, man. One thing for sure, two things for certain. I have my situations, you know, in the past with Jordan Brand, but 11's are dope, man. Jordan 11's are dope. Now I see why, you know, a lot of people be super hyped over man. Jordan 11's are a classic shoe. They just look dope, and, you know, the patent leather on that thing is just phenomenal. You feel me? And this is my first pair of Jordan 11's ever in my life. My cousin had, like, every last one of them, even the joints that released in, like, 99, because I remember that summer. Oh, man, everybody and their mama was trying to get a pair of them things. And I think my cousin ended up getting a pair. But the one thing I noticed, um, let me go ahead and show you the shoe. Uh, as you can see, predominantly black upper uh, leather right here on the back. And on this heel tab, which is why I bought it. Man, it got that beautiful, beautiful 4-5 action going on right there. 
which is amazing if you're a Jordan fan and know your Jordan history. Hey, man, that 4-5 is significant. That's the number he rocked when he retired because they couldn't get the 2-3 out of retirement soon enough before he got on the court, which is crazy. And, uh, yeah, there's the menial side of it, which is dope. You see that patent leather shining, blinging like new jewelry. You know what I'm saying? And, man, it's got that white man. So this is just a crispy-ass pair of sneakers, real classy. If you can't match these up, you just fucking not trying. You feel me? And it's got that clear... Icy soul and it's blue. Some people, I heard people complaining about that. Ah, oh, it's the blue icy soul. Man, come on now. And it's got the, the blue, hints of bluish purple. Uh, You know, the little pods on the bottom. You know, the traction pads or whatever. But this crazy white jump, man. You feel me? Sitting there looking good. And it's got that carbon fiber plate there. Oh, you hear that knock? Crazy, crazy. And and in and, 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 and super tradition of this channel, you know, I had to. Spank the booty. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. All I got to say, man, these shoes are fire. I suggest you get you a pair. I heard it wasn't too crazy to get them. I mean, it was, it was crazy. I ain't going to lie. It was super crazy. But I just heard that, you know, they're not hard to get per se like other Jordans because they made so much of them. And that's dope with Nike or Jordan brand to go ahead and just release the shoes so everybody can get them because who doesn't want a pair of Space Jams? And everybody who, you know, had the money to drop the 220 should be able to. You know what I'm saying? That's more bread in, 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 in Nike's pocket and less bread in the reseller's pocket. But, you know, these will still have a, a good little markup because I went to uh, Kickspot, which is in uh, Georgetown in D.C., which is a reseller shop, consignment shop. And they had like $200 up on them. So apparently demand on these is real, even despite, I mean, despite the fact that these were readily available. And even though you had to go through a raffle system like I did in this area, like first come, first serve, the lines was ridiculous. Because my man Osman, shout out to my boy Osman, hit me up. He's a fellow sneaker brother in shoe. And he was like, man, the line was wrapped around the corner to get to you beat. Because they had to first come, first serve down to Georgetown with these. And he was like, he tried creeping the line at 8 o'clock. And that shit wasn't happening. He said, man, it was wrapped around the corner. So he was like, man, fuck it. I might not get them. But he ended up copping from Champ Sports online. It took him an hour and a half. But he ended up getting his pay because he's also got big feet like I do. So, you know, our shoes is scarce and limited. So he lucked up and came up. But I had my raffle ticket. And as soon as I left the bank from this homeowner situation doing some adult shit, you know what I'm saying? I went straight to the motherfucking store, got my pair, and was super happy, man. And couldn't be more excited, pleased, and elated to have a pair of shoes, you dig? But, yeah, a lot of the complaints people were saying was right here. You see that jump, man? It's a little on the purple side. Apparently, the OG colorway that came out and the pair they wore, you know, in the, um, in the movie, it was more blue. This is on the purple side. A lot of enthusiasts are kind of complaining about the purple. I ain't complaining about the purple because purple is the color of royalty. And I ain't going to lie, it's bluish, it's purplish, it's, you know, it's all good. It's a pair of Jordans. I ain't complaining Space Jam all day. And it was purple all th uh, through, ew, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk, man. It was purple through and through that movie, man. And, you know, it matched all the Monstars apparel. Um, And, you know, the all the apparel that, ton or should I say tons of apparel, that fucking Nike released and Jordan brand released regarding this, man. But, yeah, oh, and I forgot the little piece in the middle with the Jordan symbol. I don't even know what that is. Is that, like, Greek or something? I mean, I, I could probably be dumb. Leave it in the comments. I know y'all gonna probably flame my big ass. But it's all good, man. I told y'all I ain't bought a pair of Jordans in a decade. I gotta do more research on them things. But one thing's for sure, two things for certain, I'm gonna rock the fuck out of these things. And, oh, yeah, this came with uh, the, the inside pieces. It's definitely purple. And it's got that jump man on there. I hope you guys can see it. And this joint don't be wanting to focus sometimes. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a little, a little shiny. But that's the insert for the shoe. But, yeah, and, uh, man, I'm all over the place. And it's got the Nike Air, you dig, right there on the insole, which is thin because all of the tech is in the sole. But, and this is a thin-ass fucking uh, shoe insert. But, yeah, it's got that Nike Air branding on there. And according to some folks, we getting taxed for that. But, A, you wanted the nostalgia, you got the nostalgia. And I ain't gonna lie, it's dope, man. It's cool to see Nike. As you see, my A is fucking gone. <laughs> Nike didn't drop the motherfucking ball. Like, I, can I get like 10% of my dollar back since that jump say Nike Err? 
But it is what it is, man. Hey, no complaints here. Jordan Retro 11, Space Jam, your boy got it. Late as usual, because the brother always late, but I wouldn't be me if I wasn't fashionably late, you feel me? But yeah, I suggest you guys go ahead and get these. As y'all can hear my voice, I'm super happy, super happy I got these. And I suggest you you, you get you a pair too, man, because you will be happy. Air Jordan, or Jordan brand, I should say, has delivered for Christmas, and these are dope. So, hey, man, if you get you a pair, get you a pair. And again... I appreciate the love you guys show, brother, man. I really do. And thanks for the likes, subscribes, and everything, man. Keep coming back. Keep uh, thumbs in up. And, you know, keep hitting that like button. Hit that subscribe and that bell. Don't, don't. You feel me? Hit that thing, man. And, you know, show a brother some love in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys. You are awesome. Thank you for a, 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 a beast of a 2016 because you guys are great, man. I, I love my subscribers, my channels, and the folks that follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at M-L-M-E-N-T, just in case you don't know the name. Man, follow me, tweet me, holler at me. I speak, man. I'm a human being. You know what I'm saying? And if you're talking about shoes, I'm all in. All day, every day. But yeah, man, I appreciate you guys. You guys have a good one. Oh, boy. <laughs>